Morning guys, uh, Saturday morning, uh, just made it through another week there, and just for fun, here's what I'm into today. <laughs> here is a, here's a beautiful 99, probably 2000 model year, Ford Contour. It has the, um, it has the used car patina on it. Um, it's a girl that works with my wife. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff wrong with this thing. I'm going to see if we can get it going as best we can for her. Um, if I can get those off, it's, I think it needs rear brakes. It needs rear struts. Don't know if I'm going to get into that today. Um, front brakes aren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. Um, the rotors I could actually stay on. Depends if I can find them cheap, I'll get her new rotors. But I think we're just going to do pads. I think the calipers are going to be okay. Um, the sway bar connectors are gone. We're going to get those replaced. Um, need some front struts also. Don't think I'm going to get into them today. Just trying to keep this on the cheap for her. Um, these young kids today have a pretty tough time finding a decent used car because of that idiot cash for clunkers program. That was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> um, yeah, same thing on this side. There's an ABS light on. I don't know if I'll be able to get into that or not. I don't have the diagnostic equipment for it, but we'll see if there's a way I can look into that. And there's a leak under here. It's a tranny line. I was hoping it could be just uh, a line replacement, but it looks like it might be a, it goes into a pressed on hose and everything else. So I'll see if I can get one of those. And, uh, Man, the oil pan, I don't know how much life that's going to have left in it before that falls apart. So this is what we're into this morning. Just trying to help out someone. Well, I guess we're going to start with uh, front pads, rotors, sway bar connectors. Um, it's going to be about 98 bucks my cost because I'm going through... Um, my boss's account which makes a huge difference and uh, the radiator trainee cooler line um, they don't have probably gonna have to go see if I can get that through Ford next week um, front struts I'm not gonna do today didn't really need front struts that bad um, rear struts it needs I'm not getting into the back today the rear brakes are okay they're gonna need to be replaced so we'll do we'll do rear pad rear uh, Rear pads, uh, shoes, I mean, uh, drums, let's see, e-brake cables, they're, don't, they're not going to be fun to do, but we'll do those too, it needs them, and uh, rear struts, but that's going to be another day, we'll get all that stuff another time, um, it's not, doesn't have to be done today, so off to the parts store. Alright, I just spent a bunch of time beating the crap out of this rotor, it was just the rust in there, it just would not come off. Um, brakes weren't real, real bad, but we got some thick ones on there now. And, and then there's two bolts back here. I just spent another half hour looking for one. Couldn't find it anywhere. It was stuck to the bottom of my, uh, shop light. It was a magnet. It was stuck to the bottom of that. It took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> Alright, this one's all back together. Um, I'd say these had 20% brake left on them, but the new ones are nice and thick. I thought they were pretty much grinding because the way these, these are massive grooves in this, in this rotor. It's just from uh, sand and dust in the road, I guess. Okay, so anybody that doesn't do a lot of front brakes, they're pretty simple, especially if you're not replacing the calipers. You don't have to get into bleeding the lines. Oh, and there's one of the uh, connectors i got to replace. Got a nice new one. I'm going to just throw those on after the brakes are done. These brakes are real simple. They just pop right out. New ones go back in. These There's a spring loaded here. You just raise that a little. And the new ones slide right in. 
is the difference between the old one and the new one and the inner one is pretty simple too that just pops out it's spring loaded in the back and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of grease that I have there I'm gonna grease these slides and down here where the brakes ride there and that's it when you have to replace the rotors it's real simple if you replace the rotors you gotta do this line there's a bleeder back there you gotta bleed the lines but that's pretty simple too um, I'm gonna get back and do these struts I think uh, this will probably make the biggest difference these sway bar connectors were broken off um, she'll notice the biggest difference there having those back and before I put the new pads on, I'm going to take a, a vice clamp and you just carefully place it on the edge of that caliper end, the piston, and you just slowly squeeze that all the way back in. That way this will fit back on, when I put the rotor back on, this will slide over it and it'll, it'll be uh, enough space to get it on there. And then the two bolts. Place those back in there, torque them on real good, done. And that was a cool little brake job. Uh, that's going to come back, I'm, gonna, I'm not doing the front struts, they're fine. The back ones are definitely need to be replaced. Uh, back brakes, uh, emergency brake cables, and those are going to rot because they go up underneath the um, heat shields for the exhaust, and that's all going to come off to get access to all that. But uh, there's a brake light on, and I think that's because of the, the emergency brake doesn't isn't resetting back right, because right? those are frozen up. So we'll get them replaced probably next weekend. And uh, just caught up on a couple of videos, some good stuff out there. Tommy Shoes got one out again, all right. And uh, VW Darren, man, I'm hungry too. And you just put up, you just put up smoked uh, brisket. Yikes! I, I thought about doing that today too. Wish I did now. <laughs> And uh, let's see. All right, guys. Uh, oh yeah, just Hogan put out a few this morning. They were fun to watch. And uh, Mr. Matty G or something like that. That was a cool video. I saw that yesterday. Keep them coming, guys. Have a good weekend, everybody. We'll see ya.